morning, good morning. I used one before I went to bed last night. The other one I have two. And let me tell you, my skin felt so soft. Oh my, yes. I don't know. Uh, supposed to do something to my pores. But let me tell you, it was real soft when I went to bed last night. My face almost slipped off my pillow. No, not really. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But it could have. It was so soft. It really was after I took it off. But the mask itself has got two holes here and here on your nose. And part of your mouth like this. And so when you put it on, you've got these eyes. <laughs> this little flap thing on your nose. <laughs> And they're very calming, and you wait 15 minutes, so it was a real treat, real treat. So if you want to treat yourself, this is something you might want to try. Well, my sister's that is me, Ma. <laughs> so her granddaughter brought it over to her, thinking it was for her because she's me, Ma. <laughs> and I said, well, and she said, well. She brought it to me because she knew I was Mima. You stole my name. And I said, no, you stole my name. <laughs> Everybody was quite funny, but I'm glad to get it. But we had fun with it, Mima. Mrs. C's Cottage, aren't you so sweet? Look, when I opened this, I had to pull a book out first. Are <laughs> reading it? And it said, The Harquin Heartwarming Matthew's Choice by Patricia Bradley. He left it all behind until now. And this was sent by Mrs. C. And you know you did. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> you know I love to read, don't you? And this, I love this because it said, Wholesome. Tender romances. There you go. Count me in. Count me in. Thank you. Thank you. Now, guys, look at this box full of yarn. Look at this. I, this is called Department 71 Flurries. And it looks like it's called Deep Freeze. Isn't that beautiful? It uh, looks like snow in purple. Scarf or bonnet or whatever I want. So I've got this in. Uh, oh, she's got. She sent me uh, tundra and this is the color. Snowberry, tundra, and deep freeze. Aren't those pretty? And. Oh, isn't this pretty? Whoa! Wow. Violetta, or Violet. Vi Violet, yes. This is a uh, Super Saver Red Heart. Let me see how that's going to work up. Huh? That's a pretty shawl, wouldn't it? Yes, and this is a. Uh, Four. A lot of it, too. That's a big old ball. That's a super saver. <laughs> oh, my. Let's see. Oh, here's Stu St Stitch Studio by Nicole. Studio Basics. 170 yards. And it's a four white. It is. Very beautiful. Tumble dry wash. Look at that. And this color is pearl. Isn't that beautiful? It's a pink pearl. Sort of has a little bit of gloss to it. Yeah, so I can see that as a beautiful shawl. Oh, can you imagine? Just throw it over your shoulders on a cool evening. That's beautiful. Or babies. A little small baby's blanket or a little throw to put over their little bodies. That's the firstborn, you know. Oh, and I always love gray. You know, 
since uh, I think was it Sheila told me from uh, crochet and crafts and stuff. Uh, Sheila said that gray is her go-to in-between color. <laughs> so I guess this gray is my go-between, my go-to go-between color. <laughs> and this again, this is a uh, Stitch Studio by Nicole. Studio Basics. Ooh, this is pretty too. This is another Stitch Studio by uh, Nicole. And it's the same weight. Four. And it's beautiful in the color. It's polar. Like polar bear. <laughs> it's got a little shine to it. I can see crochet and a little kitty cat out of that. Wouldn't that be cute? A little white kitty cat. Blue eyes. Little blue collar with lace on it. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Woo, now this color. Deep Lake. Look at that. Anam, Anamani. A Anamani? Yeah, that's pretty. That'd be a pretty shawl, too. Or an afghan. Be pretty. Oh, now here we go. I love orange, don't you? Some people can really wear uh, orange. I don't. This isn't orange though. This is a prettier than orange. I don't. Don't know if they have the color on the label. Oh yes, it does. This is orange. That's pretty. And this is mainstays. Includes a pattern inside. I wonder what the pattern is. Oh, that would be nice. This is a pattern for uh carrot. This is a little ridge crochet cow. I've been wanting a cow. I might just make me an orange one. Well, I'll make one. I don't know if it'll be mine. But, you know, to put it around your face, because orange is a pleasant color for most people. Thank you. I'll have to get that together. So. Sometimes I get carried away and do things I don't need to be doing. Okay. Wow, look how much more. Can y'all see? Look at that. Look over here. Look at all that yarn. And I still unbox them. Oh, now this one, guys, you got to see. You got to see this one. Look at this one. Look at that. Favorite stripe. A lot of foreign names. Rayer. You can see them or not, the names. I don't think you can. Backwards, I guess. Oh, well. It's beautiful. Look at the colors in that. Red and orange and green and purple. Oh, look at that. The combinations there. Blue, yellow, orange, maroon, and purple. And here's a the red against the mar the purple. Oh, and here it is, the blended the blue and the maroon, the uh, maroon together. Wow! And then it pulls in that pretty green. It really makes it spark. Oop! And there's a bright yellow right in the middle. Wow! And there's a picture of the of an African made of it. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at, let me put this box away. Look at that. Can you see? Isn't that beautiful? Wow. And this is four. And it's a uh, Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Stripes. And with my book... And all my yarn, 
I'm in the new century now. I've got the new colors coming. Look at them. Most of my colors are old, you know, someone's hand them down or that, uh, or brought some like the black that uh, Barbara's bought for her daughter. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wish you all were here and so we could talk about how many colors and what we could do with them. Just so many colors. Thank you, God. Thank you, C Miss C Cottage. Yeah, you took the time to box it up, mail it to me. How could I ever be so special? That is so sweet of you to do. Take time out of your life to share with me. Very humbling to me. Very humbling and thankful. Very thankful. Very happy. So we, we're going to have fun. Well, my video's too long. So I may have to chop it up a little bit. But I, I, well, I'll do my best. <laughs> But it, I'm hoping that your coffee's good. I hope you're doing well. And uh, uh, Mayor Bell, I hope your um, son's doing well down in Texas. And, and uh, I haven't heard from Jill in a while, or Suzanne, or Penny. But I but I know they're busy this time of the year. Very very busy. Very busy. I want to remind y'all that God has you in his big old hands. And pray for Mother Earth and please protect our bees. Please, 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 please. Without our bees, we could not be. I don't think. Who would be pollinating? Oh, did I tell you I saw a pollinator? on uh, Amazon and it's a wand with a thing on the end of it and you go around and you pollinate your flowers and vegetables and stuff if you don't have bees. Bees are even being replaced by all this new stuff. Bye-bye. <laughs>